and welcome back to Lyrics Partner Demo Number 2. In Demo 1 we showed you how to create a song entry and how to create a test gig with a few sets and selected songs. Now we're going to show you the Lyrics Partner Performance Mode. I'd like to first draw your attention to the size of Lyrics Partner. Its native mode is 1024 by 768 but it can be changed to 1024 by 600 by clicking the button to match perfectly with the netbooks that are out there that are at that resolution. And of course that can be saved in the options as well. Let's leave it in 600 and go from there. You'll notice that there's a display at the top. That's the time of day, 1 o'clock. Some other information about each song as it's loaded. There's your metronome. We'll show you that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and load the gig that we created. Test demo gig. There's our song separated by sets. And uh, to let you know that we're in set mode, you can see it's red. We could be in song list mode, artist mode, or style of genre mode by pressing one of the F keys on our keyboard or clicking on the mouse. I'd like to draw your attention now to these little indicator bars. You see the bottom one is lit, the top one is not. If I click in the song list, the song list indicator bar lights up and the media bar is unlit. After a few seconds of not touching a mouse or a keyboard, Lyrics Partner will automatically return to media mode. So the significance of these indicator bars is to let you know when you press the foot pedals if you're going to operate the Lyrics Scroll or if you're going to operate the mouse within the song list. Now I can click on the down arrow button or I can click on my foot pedal. You'll see the Lyrics scrolling. I can also scroll back up and this button scrolls to the top of the lyrics. When manually scrolling lyrics you'll notice that the, in the lyrics box there is a red scroll marker on the right and the left. These scroll markers indicate how far the screen will scroll when you press the button. So for example the singer will sing until they reach the markers. Then the next line below the marker will appear at the top when they press the scroll button. And by the way, how far the screen scrolls every time you press the button is controllable in the Setup and Options tab on the top right. We're set right now to a medium scroll. However, you may want to set certain songs to auto scroll. This song says no scroll. That means that no auto scroll has been set, no value. So let's skip to a song. My next song actually has an auto scroll and also has a metronome. So we press this button to skip to the next song. You'll notice the metronome flashing. It doesn't make any noise. You don't want to hear any noises through your speakers. Um, and it flashes at 69 beats per minute, which is what we set. And there's a scroll value of 20. And because it does have an auto scroll value, you'll notice that the word pause is in the auto scroll button as opposed to no scroll. When I click it, or use the foot pedal, you'll see the scrolling of the lyrics begin. You'll have to play with this feature a bit for each song, but the key is always make the scrolling faster rather than slower than needed because at any time you can press the foot pedal and pause the scrolling till your singing catches up. Then when you're ready, press the pedal again and the scrolling will resume. The idea is when you're using auto scroll, you don't want to have to manually scroll the lyrics to adjust them on the screen. However, you can change the value of auto scroll by clicking up or down on these arrow buttons and you'll see the scroll speed change. Then later you can go and edit the song and update the scroll value accordingly. Now what if I've gotten a request for Wonderful Tonight, which you can see is at the bottom of my extras list. I can cue that song up right now while still playing this song by pressing the F2 key, which lists songs by alphabetical order. I can type WO, which will jump right to Wonderful Tonight. Then if I press F5, Wonderful Tonight will be cued as the next song. Then after Wonderful Tonight has been played, my order of songs will return to the normal set mode. Now I'd like to show you something about lyrics. Let's grab Oh Sherry. This song has a white background. 
You'll notice that all the songs you've seen before have had a black background. I find having a white background is very uh, hard to see. It's too bright in a dark venue and it just doesn't go over as well. And of course, we would like to reduce how much light is being emitted from the screen on our laptop computer anyway. A black background lyrics box does a much better job reducing the amount of light. Okay, now let's talk about the songs in the song list box. There are four different functions. F2 is by name, F3 is by artist, and if you could look down and you'll see the Eagles have two songs. And then there's the style or genre, whatever I want to use that for, whatever sorting method. And I can, I can double click any one of these. I can just reach over and double click Hotel California. And immediately, Hotel California is loaded on my screen, ready to go. So, I can list songs in the song list box by the set order, by the song alphabetical order, or by the artist, or by the style or genre of the songs. And then I can select songs to either be queued or to play immediately. We have a lot of options with Lyrics Partner. But right now the option I'd like to take is I want to go home. So I'm going to click on the Go Home button and we're done for today. Thank you for watching. I'm